Western music is banned in Iran, but that hasn't stopped bands like Bomrani and the Muckers from making it. They're part of the underground scene, groups which play rock, blues and country music. Bomrani rehearse and perform in a dimly lit basement. Lead vocalist Bezad is singing in Farsi about Iranian life. Their album Yellow Sky Blue Sun's been accepted by iTunes, making it available nearly everywhere. We basically pay for everything ourselves, from the performances we put on to the monthly allowance we put aside individually, so we can do everything that's related to the band. Underground bands don't really have proper incomes, and there's no one that can financially support us. Many Iranian bands don't even bother applying for the mandatory government permits to release their music. Instead, they seek contracts with foreign companies or put their music on the Internet. Although many websites are banned, they can still be accessed by people with some technological know-how. What we do, in my opinion, is not illegal. That's just what they call it. What we do doesn't have an official permit. It doesn't have a permit from the Ministry of Culture. The Muckers were formed in 2009 and began life as a blues band. The struggle faced by Iranian musicians against official censorship was illustrated in the film No One Knows About Persian Cats. The Muckers' lead guitarist says pursuing a career in music is difficult and frustrating. It's not an easy job getting a label because the standards of music around the world are very high. We're not there, we don't know exactly what their music scene is, so we have to keep listening to new types of music, understand them and be able to get to the stage where a label will approach us. But the issue is that, first of all, we need to participate in festivals we're invited to. These foreign festivals could be in the US. If we can arrange these invitations, we can go to the US and play our instruments there. Conservatives in Iran see Western music, movies and television shows as part of a soft war to corrupt the country's youth. But access to the internet and illegal satellite TV stations means it's impossible to stop Western media and entertainment seeping through and its popularity among the young is on the rise.